Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 19th, 20th, 21, and 22, Monday through Thursday. Now, this is a general reading. When I am reading for Monday through Thursday, I use my two Radley Valentine decks. I use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message. I will pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job, just deliver the message. Now, a couple of things. Please remember, if you like my readings, our, our readings, please remember to like, share, subscribe. It does get this out there. And it helps to, um, you know, bring more people to the to the um, videos. And then that in itself is very positive. So thank you. I do appreciate it. A couple of other things, or at least one other thing, is that any reversed cards to me has a little bit stronger energy. We have also entered into Taurus season. Happy birthday, Tauruses. I have posted the longer readings for Taurus season, so please take a look at that. Now... Why don't we begin our readings? Hello, my Cancers, and welcome to Taurus season. This is the time to make dreams come true. So let's see what we have. One of the things that I do want to mention, I should have done this in the introduction, but I just didn't think of it. So I'm trying to do it, all of this, um, for all the signs. But one of the things that I got very, very um, clearly this morning um, before I got on to answer comments was pay attention to the numbers. And then I'm looking, I got, you know, one of the messages actually had a bunch of numbers, one of the comments. And then I'm looking at the um, numbers here. We have a four, okay, April. And then we have all of these two. So I don't know if that's decisions, decisions. I don't know. Let's see what it is. But I wanted to share that with you. A lot of times numbers are, well, Numbers really are the way that the divine does communicate. So let's pay attention to the numbers. Let's see what happens with them. So here we go. One, two, and three. Three cards face down. Our reversed card. See what the week holds for my cancers. Now also to my cancers, if you sit here not going back, um, there's going to be a lot of water energy around the full moon. I haven't done my overview for Taurus. So I've done my Cancer and Taurus season, but I haven't done the overview, but there will be a lot of water energy, which will be very, very helpful and actually very soothing. Okay, here we go. First card is Epiphany. Epiphany. Light bulb. Things, you know, basically this is Archangel Raziel. Now, Nines have a completion energy. Light, you know, this is one of those things. It's a spiritual um, enlightening. It's a, it's one of those things that you, all of a sudden the answers come. All of a sudden something almost spiritual or magical appears. It's like the answers to questions, answers to situations, solutions are here. Okay, there is a lot of spiritual growth. There is a lot of just a lightening of the spirit. Just, you know, again, so this is that time to reach out to higher power, your guardian angel. They send you an archangel energy here. This is Archangel Raziel. And it's like, you know, there's a lot of um, stepping out onto faith, stepping out in trust, stepping out in, you know, into that higher power, whoever, whatever, whoever that is for you. But there's also a lot of peace and happiness with this. I love this. I do love this. Here we go. Again, Archangel Raziel. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. Now meditation, prayer, reaching out, talking, all of these things. Next card is the Ace of Michael. Michael is air energy. It is our Gemini. It is our Libra, it is also our Aquarius energy. It is our thought processes. Um, it is our, you know, planning, our new, you know, new ideas. It is about hearing news. Ones, aces are ones. 
new beginnings, new starts, new projects, new things to go after. Thinking things through, especially next to Epiphany, it, I mean, I know that we don't have the um, look at things a little bit differently, but it's also there's a sense of getting to get, getting getting um, getting motivated to try getting mo- there's a sense of motivation here. OK, there's a sense of things can happen here anyway. I love that. But this is a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. So there could be some, um, you know, some conferences, there could be some talking, and basically between the two, there could be something that really gets revealed that's actually very beneficial for you. Next card, and this is reversed, three of Raphael. Raphael is your energy. Um, It is also Scorpio, Pisces energy, fluid, emotional. This is all about celebration. There are reasons to celebrate. There are, this is happier times, happy times. Threes have, are very powerful. Three, you know, is the Trinity. Uh, Three is, there is the power of three when you do and say things three times. Uh, It's also a celestial type of number. It's also very creative. So whatever this is, there's this light bulb moment, there's this new opportunity, all of these things coming together that's going to bring a joyful, um, um, a joyful, I don't know, just joyful energy to whatever the situation is. I am talking to people about living in the moment, not necessarily living in the past or living too far in the future. We now need to live in the present, but we also need to live. Okay? Okay. But... The three of Raphael is, and I like this, this is kind of like your ship coming in. Reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. Now, let's go on. One card here. So I like that too. So now we would have, what would that be? A nine, one, and a three if we're paying attention to the numbers. You know, you may want to look that up. Um... Look that up in under angel numbers. You go to just your internet browser and just put in 913. Let's see. Here we go. This is reversed. Now we have the three of earth. So, I mean, so there's some three energy. There's a lot of three energies here. So you need to you need to possibly concentrate on those because this is three threes. This is a three and a three. So there's a lot of three energy going on here. Earth energy is our Taurus, our Virgo. It is also our Capricorn, solid energy, something, someone you can touch, your home. Um, a lot of times this has to do with your money. This has to do with how you make your money, your creativity. Again, there is power in the three. There is celestial energy, Trinity. There is also creativity in your three. And there's going to be a new opportunity for you um, a creative opportunity for you with your work, with your work, your home. It's just like, you know, possibilities just are opening up. It's not so much an eight energy where there's like unlimited opportunities, but it just feels really positive, really good. But this is the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work. Be a team player. You're actually going to be, so part of this is also saying that what, you know, you're going to be recognized for your contributions. You're going to be recognized for what you bring to the table in whatever manner that is. Now, let's go on and see what we have in, so I don't know, is this three times three equals nine? Check it out, my cancer. You'll, you'll tell me. You'll tell me. Let's see what crystal or energy is helpful for my cancers, and let's see if I have it. Here we go. This is not reversed. Moonstone. Now that just popped up. Where did you go, Moonstone? Believe it or not, I, this is supposed to be Moonstone. It's polished. But Moonstone is about female fertility, calming emotions, attracting new love, and also about growth. So if you have some, carry it with you. Possibly, um, you know, wear it if that's the deal. Put it at your bedside also. But this has a lot of growth. This has a lot of, there's a lot of three energy here that I really think, my cancers, you need to look up. Okay? Okay. So, 
my cancers. Remember what I said in the beginning? Please like, share, subscribe. It does help. As always, my cancers, really know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.